Just one second. Okay, Aiden, so why are we out here today, Aiden? We're racist stigmas towards people with disabilities. How are you today? Hi, I'm fine. How are you? Good. And your name is? My name is Brenda Cherry. And could you tell us your story about your son with special needs? Yes. When uh, he was born, he was in the Well Baby Hi. Clinic. But what we found out that uh, he should have been born by C-section. So he has a cerebral dysfunction, which they say um, could have been helped had uh, the hospital not put him in the Well Baby Nursery. As a teacher myself, I noticed that he wasn't keeping up with his older sister. So I knew something was wrong. So I got down to St. Christopher's, and they put him with the handicap division. I fought for uh, funding for him, and he graduated from the sp first special needs class at Martin Luther King, and he was 22 and a half. And that was in 1988. He is still living at home with me now. I was told when he was four, he'd never be tall and trained. He washes his hands and his body better than the average man. He washes his hands twice before he puts his hands on his body to go to the bathroom. And after he goes to the bathroom. Thank you Very so much. well trained. And I owe that to a teacher named, uh, I can't even think of Felicia's married name, but a teacher had named Felicia. And I owe it to another teacher named Pearl Fraser, who came to take over the special needs class at Martin Luther King Junior High School. Thank you so I mean much. Yeah, thank you so much right, for you're sharing. Welcome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for this armband that I wear on my arm. And there you are. Thank you. Thank you. Can we take a picture?